Hello and welcome to Bloomberg Quint. Uh, as always, Agam and I are here to wrap the markets for you. We are just a day away from expiry and uh, the Indian markets have seen a strong rebound today. Uh, so Nifty ended at about uh, close to that 87.50 mark. So it's a good 60 point rally uh, before giving up some gains. But um, that was after European uh, indices inched higher. Remember, Deutsche Bank announced the sale of its insurance unit uh, and hence we are seeing that positive move. Just a few points uh, that we gave up before the market ended but uh, yet from the last series expiry nifty is still about uh, two percent higher market bread posit on the positive uh, side two is to one is where the advance decline ratio was but agam how are the rollovers looking well uh, they're better than yesterday of course uh, but uh, we'll have to wait and watch whether or not they're better than the previous three month average but we have seen an another addition of around 22 lakh shares across all the series as far as the futures on the nifty go and we have seen fresh longs building up in the nifty futures but let's also take a look at what's happened in the options market today now we just have one more session to go through so we have a range of around 200 <coughs> points based on the maximum open interest and that range has shifted from 8500 to 8700 so the 8700 put is where we've seen a lot of activity today in addition of uh, well over you know 10 to 15 lakh shares there and that's evident here as you can see the only spike that you see in here is the 8700 put. So the range that we are looking for, at least in tomorrow's, uh, with respect to tomorrow, is the 200 point range of 8700 on the lower side and the 9000 level on the upper side where we are also look, uh, looking at a lot of writing as far as the calls are concerned. We're not going to look at, uh, we're, at least as of now, it's not been an extremely volatile expiry. We've seen the volatility index spike just about 10% in the, in the day before. And today and yesterday, we didn't, didn't have much to speak of. So we'll uh, let's just wait and watch whether or not we can see some more coming in tomorrow, which is a high, a very high, high, highly likely considering we are looking at expiry tomorrow. Okay, if we talk about uh, some of the sectoral trends that we've seen, well, uh, you had a lot of sectors, most of the sectors were doing well. So you have your metals, PSU banks, realty names, auto stocks, uh, you also had some media companies doing well. Of course, Z Entertainment being the only um, one on the Nifty index, but amongst losers, and especially if you look at some of the uh, mid key, uh, Nifty movers, sorry, you had your IT which was continuing. Um, to see some weakness, you had Tech Mahindra, you had uh, TCS, Wipro, all of these IT names uh, again continues to figure amongst the losers. Um, uh, names uh, of course night uh, now if I just have one statistics nifty IT index that is down about seven and a half percent post brexit versus nifty's gain of eight percent of course so this has been one index which has really been under significant pressure if you look at the a uh, gaining side you had Aisha Motors you had Hindalco up four and a half percent so it continued to build on gains after uh, three sessions of um, losses you had telecom stocks like idea you had uh, bharti etl so some uh, pickup that was seen in some of the telecom names so they were buzzing uh, but agam when it comes to mid caps you had banks pharma names style stocks that were buzzing what, what absolutely <laughs> what so all these counters have been moving on their you know own into individual mer merit let's start off with our stocks and i believe you already addressed the tire stocks because we have seen a fall in rubber prices owing to you know uh, the 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 the, the uh, is it the collecting activity of latex which has that begun in the month of September correct, so. owing to which we can expect uh, you know tire pri rubber prices to fall even further yeah. because of which we have seen TVS Sri Chakra gain 17 percent and the stock perhaps which is in focus and on everyone's mind is MRF which is now a 50,000 rupees stock right now and it is up as much as 7 percent it has also hit a lifetime high today and perhaps the most expensive stock per share uh, in, uh, in you know, in, today, in, our, in our market, so this one is uh, where we can keep an eye on. Other than that, we've seen good gains in uh, Sue and Life Sciences, and as well as Dishman Pharma, which is also gained substantially. And in fact, each of these stocks gaining well over seven percent today's job trade. Uh, Network 18 is another stock which has gained around 12 and a half percent. Uh, along with that, we've seen good gains in uh, TV18 broadcast. Remember, we had pointed out that TV18 broadcast, uh, we have about a good 32% of open interest only with eight clients on the on the NSC. So that's the reason why we're looking at a big spurt, big spurt there. There's not really much to speak for when it comes to losers. Today's day was clearly uh, for the gainers, but we have further weakness in rain industries declining by 6%, Ramkrishna forging down 4% with emphasis, Bajaj Electrical, Navkar, Navra, Navkar Corp, as well as PI industries losing anywhere between 25 to 4%. 
But uh, as I said, you know, uh, the broader market indices will not give you an idea of what's really happened in the broader markets. They've moved more or less in tangent with the benchmarks. But it's the individual stocks which have moved substantially uh, as, as compared to you know some of the broader markets. But uh, of course, ICICI Prudential, that's a big IPO we're looking at, aren't we? Totally, Agam. First insurance company to list, plus it was the biggest IPO in terms of the funds that they were trying to uh, raise, the biggest IPO in about six years uh, last. You had Coal India in 2010. Uh, subscription numbers were quite decent, ten and a half times uh, overall on an overall basis. But uh, surprisingly, or contrary to expectation, retail subscription was weak. So it was subscribed. The retail category was subscribed just about 1.4 times. Of course, one reason could have been the fact that some investors chose to apply via the shareholders category or the right. shareholders quota that was subscribed 12, 13 times. Uh, but at least as far as people who invested in the uh, under the retail category or retail quota, uh, fortunately, uh, most of them will be allotted this time around right. because we have been seeing uh, the dearth of uh, availability of uh, allotment as far as some of the IPO uh, shares are concerned the, some of the last few IPOs it has done well but um, Agam, uh, what I've been hearing is that the grey market premium is just about 8 to 10 rupees right. these are just uh, s uh, numbers that we've heard and um, the price band was 300 to 334 so it doesn't seem like it's going to be some stellar listing right. but of course that's one thing that we are going to watch out for and that apart um, there will also be some interest as far as crude oil is concerned uh, it was trading about half a percent higher uh, Brent crude when I checked last uh, you have the OPEC meeting later on in the evening today plus you have Mario Draghi and Niven Yellen who will be talking so uh, that's probably where the European markets should right. pick up cues from and right. uh, <laughs> that should probably indicate how Asia and Indian markets will open tomorrow uh, but yes we need to keep an eye out for the expiry day tomorrow Absolutely. so uh, that's all for today but we are going to come back with more tomorrow uh, do join us again at 3.45 p.m. tomorrow.